everybody, welcome to Flight Test. We're your hosts, Josh and Josh. Hi. And today we are talking about the Spectrum DX8 remote controller thingy majigger. Transmitter. Transmitter. It's a beautiful piece of equipment. It is a beautiful piece of equipment. I have seen a lot of video game controllers in my day and this you just like, looks You different. like the switches, don't you? I do. I yes. like buttons and switches. Switches are good. And I want to know what it's all about. Well, I like this transmitter too. This is a Spectrum DX8 transmitter. It is a full range transmitter just released by uh, Spectrum. And uh, I got to say, I was thinking it was going to be overkill on a lot of different aspects. But after going through it and stuff, I realized they put a lot of features in there that make your flying experience wonderful. Beep. Yes. To go over some differences, um, for you guys out there, if you've owned either a DX6i, a DX7, you will be able to figure out this radio within about five minutes. Piece of cake. Yeah, piece of cake. You, it'll take you a little bit longer. Okay. Okay. I'll get it. You'll get it. I know you will. This radio is incredibly user friendly. Basically, if you can read the screen on the front here, you can program this radio. If you can read, you can handle this thing. Absolutely. That's what we're saying. This radio basically incorporates some features that are different than all the other ones. This one does have built-in telemetry. Um, telemetry is, do you want to guess what telemetry is? Telemetry is the aspect ratio of ground to physics quantum times 10. That's very good, but you're wrong. Um, basically what telemetry is, is it's going to give you the information that's actually going on in your airplane in real time. Now, a lot of features in this and with telemetry are not going to be um, very useful for most pilots, but the ones I did like a lot were the signal strength and the battery voltage inside your airplane. Those are very, very useful. It's got good signal strength. It has good signal strength. So you strength. can fly a plane from like 15 miles away. No, you cannot do that. From like seven miles away. But you away. can tell that your plane's going to lose signal at about two miles away. Two miles. Yes. Okay, now say your aircraft has like a weapon on board, like a machine gun or like a laser gun or something crazy like that. What kind that. of aircraft are you flying? No, just listen. And okay. then can you actually like use this to control that weapon as well? Like you can use the screen, zero in on your target, and then, and then you know, you know, just, just blow it away. <laughs> um, no. But this transmitter does have incredible features that will enable you to put such things as uh, uh, crazy bomb drop modules. You could probably even rig up a paintball uh, gun on this thing. The screen is not, however, made for that. Um, and plus, I don't think AMA would probably like you putting weapon systems on model aircraft. So you can't put like a camera on your plane no, and see what it's no. looking like? No, What the screen is mainly used for is to actually give you real on-time information through your telemetry module. I'm going to power that on here so you can see it. It is backlit. You are flipping switches, weren't you? I I, yes. Yes, that's okay. Um, this function also has a vibrate feature, which is very nice to alert you. You can actually set up your vibrate uh, slash ring feature for any different alarm. So if you want to know if your plane's going out of range, you can set it up to vibrate and let you know that. If your battery's too low, you can set up the ring. You can also set up the ring and vibrate. But mainly what this screen does is it actually gives you information on your airplane. You have a timer built in. You can actually see how long you're flying. You also have um, all the real-time stuff that your telemetry, which we'll go over later, will give you will be the displayed on the screen. Now, I noticed that this one here is broken, which is unfortunate. I thought we were had some more excellence than this. Uh, can we get <laughs> a controller that is actually, not broken? Actually, this is not broken. I picked this up from my friends from Aerotech Hobbies in North Canada. So your friend broke it? No, my friend did not break it. Okay. This is actually how they come. Oh. Not broken. The reason why you do this is basically by turning this vertical when you're holding the transmitter. This actually enables you, this antenna being able to be moved around enables you to get the best transmission possible uh, for your airplane to communicate with it. Strong signal. Strong signal, you got it. One thing with uh, 2.4 and for that matter um, 72 megahertz, you never want to point your antenna directly at your airplane. That's always a bad idea because basically the dead zone is going from the tip out towards your airplane. So if you ever notice that you have any glitching or any issues and stuff, make sure your antenna is pointed away. If you have 72 megahertz, just just make sure you hold your transmitter a different attitude than where your airplane is. What we get with the DX8 Spectrum is uh, stickers. Course, stickers. Yes, you do get stickers. You get the DX8 transmitter, a very, very nice thick net strap. This one actually comes with Futaba doesn't include the SD card for uh, uh, ROM version upgrades and also additional information storage, but this one does. This one comes with the 128. So you can look at your pictures on the screen? You cannot look at your pictures on the screen. Okay. But you can take the data on the screen and download it to your chip. Uh, this is your telemetry harnesses. Some of them are already in the uh, 
Taylor Craft E Flight uh, 450. The telemetry module and the receiver are already installed in the T Craft, that's why you don't see them in here. These are your various bind plugs. Nice thing is they actually do give you a way to uh, store them now. They give you a little lanyard clip to, uh, to attach to your neck strap or onto your radio so you don't lose them anymore. So you have them with you all the yes. time. Manuals are very easy. This is your cheat guide, this is your in depth guide. Um, both of them are very easy to read. You'll probably be able to go through this just one time through the book and be able to go right to it, do your binding features, any of your programming features, and uh, be able to successfully accomplish that. Um, this radio does incorporate eight mixes, which is just amazing. Anyone from a professional gasser pilot all the way down to a sport pilot can uh, really enjoy this radio. So I can enjoy this radio. You could enjoy Let's this talk radio. about these stickers. You like those stickers, yeah. don't you? Don't peel those stickers. You can put them on your car, your flight box, on your mom's car, on your bike. All together, it is amazing for $400 what is included with this package. Uh, when you think a couple of years ago when the DX7 was released for about $339, $349, and you're getting all this for $400, it is amazing value for the money. Okay, so we can go try this out then? Yeah, we can absolutely try okay. this out. Yeah, you take right. that, I will take the plane. Actually, you can leave that one right there. Okay, I like um, this. We already, we already previously, we did a review on a Taylorcraft 450. Yeah, I remember you that. You remember that, I yes. I was here for that. Well, when you weren't looking, we put the telemetry module in that <laughs> airplane. <laughs> yeah, okay. so we'll be able to demonstrate in real time what this can do with the features that are out of the box uh, that come with the DX8 radio. Okay, let's okay, go. Let's, let's do, it. do it. Go ahead and hit the transmitter. All right, I'm going to take this transmitter. The door for you there. Transmit. Both signal. hands. Both hands. To my airplane. All right, ready to fly. Let's do this. Got a beautiful day ahead of us. Yeah. We already got the battery in. We've all already right. checked our controls and gave it a ran up and stuff, so we're all ready to take it off. Yes. So you throw it, right? Actually, you know what? We have a gravel runway right beneath us here. Okay. We'll just use this driveway. How's that sound? Oh, so you set it down? Yep, you don't need to throw it today. Oh. But maybe next time. Yeah, well, I Would mean, like let me know. Alrighty. Just, we're going into the wind now. We're all okay. set there. We're gonna keep flight back pressure. There it goes. And there we go. Oh, they grow up so fast. They do grow up so fast, don't they? So tell me about this controller here. What's This controller is phenomenal. It's a Spectrum DX8, as we were talking about earlier. Um, the nice features about this is the telemetry module that they just included. That's a, a new thing coming out. It'll give us real-time information on the airplane that we're flying in the air. Um, the nice thing about this is once the telemetry module is bound inside of the airplane, and you'll be able to instantly uh, review data that's actually from the airplane transmitted down. The, uh, so the airplane's talking to you? The airplane's talking kinda to like me. Like texting? Yep, it's kind of like texting, only not. The telemetry module is very, very user friendly on this uh, unit. Once you bound it, it'll automatically give you an icon, which is located down there. And uh, with that, you'll know that you basically can access any information. By moving the slider knob, you can go through any prevalent information that will be included with your DX8, um, such as your min and max uh, voltages. And then you'll also have your, uh, your actual real time voltages. Now, if you see, if I do a snap roll, Whoa. it'll go down uh, in voltage. All in all, it's very, very user friendly. The pilot can easily roll through while you're still keeping control of the airplane and, uh, and have that. This is for your frame rate to, uh, to capture frame length loss. Obviously, you still see your receiver. Now, if you're flying too far away, you'd be able to capture your uh, classic bar cell signal um, would, would drop down and stuff. And uh, that would be able to indicate that. And you can actually set up alarms to, uh, to physically let you know if your reception goes too far away. Let's set this up for a landing here. Anything you need to know about when you're bringing in for a landing? Um, basically, keep your wings level, throttle back, make sure you're into the wind. And uh, here she comes. And there we have it. You know, like we there always we say, it. any landing that you're still alive after Actually, you do yeah, it, that you walk it's away pretty from, cool. is a good landing. Any way you walk yeah, away from well, is a good landing. Yeah. Six of one, half dozen another. <laughs> That's all the day, uh, time we have for today's show. Um, the uh, DX8 is a phenomenal radio, a uh, lot to bang for the buck, uh, very few criticisms, and anyone from a uh, moderate uh, park flyer all the way up to an expert will definitely enjoy this radio. Thank you. Have a great day.